Ezra, it's Marina Bennett here. Thank you for such great questions about tigers. Um, thanks again, here goes. Were you channeling your own teen years when you started to write this series? Yes, very much so. I was, Greer's very much sort of me as a teenager and I was remembering like being slightly, you know, wry about things and slightly cynical about things. And um, I was definitely sort of remembering that kind of, of, of approach to life. And uh, I also had the experience of going from a comprehensive, a Northern comprehensive school to a um, very posh university. And that was um, very much something I channeled for Greer's experience. Do any of the Stags books stand out for you so far for any reason? Um, I think if I was to pick one, it would probably be dogs just because um, Renaissance drama is what I studied at university and I've always been really interested in sort of Shakespeare and also his contemporary playwrights so it was really cool for me to be able to take sort of a deep dive into Ben Jonson and the play that was considered to be so shocking that it had to be not just banned but burned so I really wanted to sort of have a go at recreating what might be in that play. Why did you use animal themes as the titles for each book? Um, this really came from the idea of, of, of the stag and um, calling the school stags because of St Aidan, the great school. And um, once I'd done that and I'd set that precedent, it just seemed natural to then go on with other animal names. Um, some of them are acronyms, not all of them actually, but um, stags and dogs are. And uh, yeah, I'm going to be returning to that later in the series as well. Are any of the characters based on people you know? Yeah, well, Greer's a little bit me. Um, also, uh, uh, Shafeen is based on a real character. Uh, Greer MacDonald is actually a name of one of my son's friends. So she was kind enough to lend me that name. I really, really liked it. Um, and some of the characters are kind of hybrids of people that I know. Um, certainly the kind of long cross set uh, are people that I, I met at university and uh, although none of them were sort of that evil, I did sort of take certain tropes on board. Which character do you feel closest to and why? Um, I think that would have to be Greer just because um, she's pretty much based on a, a younger me. Um, I really like the three central characters. I really like Shafeen. I think he's a really stand-up guy. I really like Nell um, because she's got to deal with different kind of prejudice because she's got new money rather than old money. Um, but Henry as well, I've got a real soft spot for Henry. He's a bad boy, but, uh, but yeah, I kind of love him. Can you tell us a little bit about your latest book, Tigers, and how it fits into the series? Okay, Tigers is a slightly different book because although it's bookended um, at Stag School, it then goes to India. Um, so we're actually dealing with Shafeen's family history. And those of you who read, who've read Stags will know that um, Shafeen's father, Ardish, went to Long Cross in 1969 and met Henry's father, Rollo. So the middle part of this book is really their history and what happened that fateful uh, Justitian weekend in 1969. Um, so it's kind of, it's two new uh, arenas for me. One is writing in a different country, which is India, and the other one is writing in a different time, which is 1969. And is there a standout moment for you in Tigers? Oh gosh, that's a really good question. Um, yes, I think I would say it's probably when, I can't, I'm trying not to give spoilers, but it's probably when there's a, there's a moment when Ardish stands up for himself and gets his own back. I won't say any more than that, but things get pretty heated, let's say. I won't say any more than that. Thank you, Emma Bennett. Thank you. Thank you, Asra. <laughs> Bye.